What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Southampton FIFA 16 career mode. Disappointing last time out, only managed two draws in the Premier League games that we had. Today we're going to begin this one with our third game of the Champions League group stage, looking to pick up another three points as we take on Anderlecht. So the squad is quite a tired one then after the last couple of games. We're going to line up with a 4-3-3. Few changes, rotated it quite a bit. Balassi coming in, Muriel coming in up top, Yoda will play on the right. Dorgan Hazard starts along with Jordi Classy in midfield with Casemiro, who'll be captain today as Ward Prowse is very tired. Lopez right back, target left back, Subotic and Veltman with trapping goal. Try and get the ball. Classy with an excellent challenge to win the ball back. Here's Yannick Balassi. Wants more game time, he's got to show us what he can do. Or remind us what he can do. He's still got possession, Balassi. Oh, wow. How unlucky can the guy get? Very nearly the perfect start to this tie. Veltman picks out Torgan Hazard. Oh, good footwork from him. He's got options to his right and left. He's going to go right to Yoda. If he could switch it, we've got Balassi making a run at the back post. Yannick Balassi on the volley maybe should have taken a touch. Good effort, good movement going forward. Promising start. Here's Jordi Classy. He's going to find Torgan Hazard here. Oh, great footwork from him. Can he take on another man? Yes, he can. Haven't had a chance to see this from him. Classy continues his run. Can he slot us in front? Geordie Classy and Hazard. Brilliant combination in the midfield there. Just over 20 minutes gone. We've got the lead. We've been very, very dangerous so far today. Look at that footwork from Hazard. Goes past one with ease. Just holds the ball. Slots it through to Geordie Classy. Who slots it past the keeper. Our Lopez has lost possession here to Trezeguet. Anderlecht coming forward down the left. Ball is played in. Trap. Anderlecht still coming forward here. Oh, what a turn that is. Unfortunately for them, the effort was smashed wide. Here is Lopez. Looks for Yoda. Oh, it's a great turn. Just rolls the defender. Has he got the strength to hold him off? It looks like he might have. Oh, he's played a good ball inside to Lopez. He will... I oh, tried to smash that across goal. Turns out he went for a near post effort. Cheeky. Corner will be an in-swinger from Classy. Header from Veltman. Hits the crossbar. Goes over. Very nearly two. He's got a couple of minutes to hold on. Hopefully we can. Classy goes back to Trap, who whacks the ball upfield. Half-time whistle's gone so far, so good. It's been a dominant display. Only, you know, one or two half chances, really, for Anderlecht. We could be more than one ahead if we can hold this lead until full-time. It will give us a great chance of progressing through the group stage. All played inside. Nice one, two. Ball is played into the area. We haven't dealt with it, and Trezeguet's header goes wide. Got another chance. Oh, they've cleared it forward for us beautifully. What was that pass about? Muriel, can he hold this up? He can. Jordi Classy now arriving in support. He's got a man to his left. It's Hazard. They could have teed us up here, Anderlecht. This has all come from that bad pass. Hazard dances his way through. What a save from the goalkeeper to keep, keep the score at 1-0. Great play again from Hazard. That was definitely heading into that far corner. What a reaction stop. Lopez knocks it down the line looking for Abdul Karim Yoda who skips inside his man. He's been brought down. That must be a penalty. Thank you very much. He played the ball but he definitely played the man first. Look at that. He's into the box. The challenge comes in from the side. Oh, I don't know. Wasn't as bad as it first looked. Luis Muriel is the man who's picked up the ball and he will be the man to take this and hopefully double our advantage. Cool penalty. Sending the keeper the wrong way. Putting the ball into the top corner. Surely now we're heading for all three points. Deli Ali and Sherlock coming on. Jordi Classy and Abdul Karim Yoda, the ones to be replaced. Straight swaps. Sherlock will play from the right. Ali will slot straight into midfield. Now that we've got possession, we may be able to hit them on a counter attack. Sherlock's been blocked off there, surely. Anderlecht just playing high balls into the box. What kind of effort was that? Inventive, but shocking. Lewis Muriel picks up possession. It's a good turn, actually. He's got Balassi to his left. What can he do with it? He's had a quiet second half. Goes past his man with ease though. Yannick Balassi. Can he drill it? 3-0. Yes, indeed. Comfortable win. Balassi on the score sheet. Gives him more uh, reason to complain when he's not in the side. Every time he plays, he plays well. So it's a difficult one because the likes of Yannick Carrasco are not even involved in today's game. Carrasco is obviously a class player. But we've got so many strong options out wide. Chance of a consolation here for Anderlecht. They've lofted the ball into the box. It's headed away by target. And that's a very good turn from Muriel. He's quick. He might get away here. Look at the bodies we've got forward. Yannick Balassi is inside of him. If he plays it on one more. Schürrle on one more. Even further to Deli Alley. Can it be four? Yes, it can. Oh, what a display. Our first home Champions League game of the campaign. And we have absolutely dominated. Really good team move. Flowing all the way through. 
One touch passing, Ali took a touch to steady himself and then drilled it into the corner. There you go, full time whistles gone, 4-0 win, absolutely fantastic display. So there you go, we, you can see Barcelona have beaten Zenit and we both have a really, really good chance of going through to the knockout stage now unless something magical happens really. Zenit and Anderlecht both only picking up the one point um, in their opening three games. That was the draw they had between each other. Ourselves and Barcelona are probably going to battle this out for first and second place in the group. So back to Premier League action now as we take on Newcastle as we look to go back to top of the table. A number of changes to the squad. Most notably, Balassi makes a start after his goal last time out and captain James Ward-Prowse returns to the midfield. Here is Villalba. Oh, good run from him already. Positive start from us here. Casemiro picks up possession, hits one. Darlo forced into a superb save in the opening minute of this game. And he releases Conte. Could be a chance for us here. He gets into the box. He's been brought down from behind. Goal kick has been given. I'm sorry. If he didn't get the ball, that's a fucking penalty. Let's have a look at it again. He's got nowhere near the ball. Absolutely nowhere near it. Oh, here's Jack Colback bringing the ball forward for Newcastle. Nice one-two. Oh, they've created space here. Tony has the shot from distance. Trap. What are you doing, man? How has that found its way into the back of the net? He gets the ball here. No danger. Doesn't even strike it cleanly. Not in the corner. Oh, wow. Here's Ward-Prowse coming forward. We're looking for an immediate response here. He's going to play it to himself. Get the shot away. He's been brought down. How is that not a foul? Cedric here. As we look to open them up. He's going to find Villalba. Can he beat his man? Yes, he can. He's into the box, Hector Villalba. Still going. Chance to get a shot away. Hector Villalba, take a bow, son. Superb individual goal. Half an hour gone on the clock. He's fallen over in his celebration, but we are back level. Really wanted to get level before half time, to be honest. That was very important. But just look at the run. They didn't know what to do with him. Bang. Left foot, top corner. All right, Anita's done brilliantly. Obertan is through here. Why has he passed it? Why on earth would you pass that ball? Half-time whistle's gone. We're going to go in all square. We've been the better side. Disappointing goal to concede, especially from a goalkeeper point of view. Shot from distance. Just floated into the corner. Trap has to do better. But the important thing is we, you know, recovered, recouped, got ourselves back level. Anybody's game in the second half. Jack Colback with a good ball down the left-hand side. Nicholas Bentner. Wow. He's got three of the defence, though, so I'll stop taking the piss for a second. He's into the box. Lays it off to his man. Trap redeems himself. Corner up to Newcastle, in swing, a trap comes, gets the punch on it, but punches it straight back to Marvo. He's going to put the ball back in. Are we going to deal with it? Not really, but the header goes over. So half an hour remaining, double change, Carrasco and Hazard coming on, Balassi and Casemiro to be replaced. Going to pick him out. What can he do here? He's going to go back to Hazard, I think. Good turn. Oh, good dummy as well. Hazard with the space. Needs to be a better finish. Looking for the run of Hector Villalba. He's got Dummett for company. Oh, he's done well. He's beaten him. Villalba into the area. Can he pull it back? Higuain is there. What a save from Darlo and Carrasco. He makes an idiot of himself. Cedric wins the ball back. Is there one more opportunity? Here is Conte. He's going to find Ward-Prowse. Tries to play it through to Higuain. Clever effort saved by Darlo. Smashed back across goal from Carrasco and cleared away behind for a corner. Ball is played in. Chance for Newcastle to win it here. Need to get this clear. Have done. Send it all square despite our late push. We've done everything pretty much but score. Darlow pulled off a number of top saves in the end to deny us. It's our third consecutive Premier League draw. So after our latest draw, we slip all the way down to fourth spot. Not a disaster by any stretch. We're only 10 games in, but last year at this point we were running away with it and it was in Europe that we are struggling. Totally different story this year. Europe is going well. We are struggling domestically. Three draws and two defeats in our opening 10 games. Not the record we were looking for, to be honest. But we're obviously early days still in with a great chance of defending our title. But we'll see how things go. You can see the table starting to take shape. Manchester United are climbing. Chelsea still down in 15th, though, which is a bit of a surprise. At the bottom, QPR, Norwich and Sheffield Wednesday are the ones in the dreaded relegation zone. But that will bring this one to a close, guys. Drop a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Kizzlekick7 is all my tags. And we'll see you next time.